The Titanic is sinking. All first-class passengers are rushing to the remaining lifeboats. But one lady runs the opposite way to help doomed passengers. Her name was Molly Brown. And this is the story of the real hero of the Titanic, who saved hundreds of lives. But it may not have happened if it wasn't for her own struggle with poverty. Molly Brown did not come from riches. With six other children in the family, Molly worked at the factory to make ends meet. It was tough growing up. Her father wanted to marry her off to escape poverty, but she just couldn't. She fell in love with a broke mining engineer. She noted, I wanted a rich man, but I love Jim Brown. To her parents' dismay, Molly married him. She accepted that she would spend the rest of her life in poverty. But little did she know that luck was right around the corner. One day, Jim came home and brought life-changing news. They had found gold in the mine. The Browns became rich beyond their wildest dreams. Despite her wealth, Molly stayed true to herself. She invested in children's schools, worked in soup kitchens to feed miners, and founded a women's club. Her philanthropy was revolutionary for that time, but none of that compares to what she did on the Titanic. When the ship started to sink, Brown had no fear. She refused to board the lifeboat despite the order women and children first. More accurately, rich women and children. Nobody helped the poor, except Molly. She rushed them into the boats instead, making rich and poor passengers equal in their right for survival. After being pushed into lifeboat six, her fight to save more lives had only just begun. Molly realized her boat was under capacity, so she urged the crew to go back to rescue those who were freezing to death. We've lots more room. I say we go back. But the men on board refused. At the time, women had no voice of their own. They were not even allowed to row. But Brown was not afraid to take charge. She urged the women to row despite the social norms. And Molly did not stop there. Her kindness allowed more people to get a chance for survival on their boat. And what's more, rowing kept the women warm for the four hours it took before they reached the Carpathia liner. When rescued by the Carpathia, Molly went on to volunteer around the ship. Brown handed out blankets, food, and water for all 706 survivors. Molly was the last one to leave the ship, making sure all the rescued passengers found their families. By the time they got to New York, she had already created a survivor's committee. She fetched $10,000 to help second and third class passengers which is the equivalent of more than $200,000 now. Survivors called Brown the heroine of the Titanic, but she never accepted such a title. Molly wanted to tell the world what really happened, but as a woman, she was not allowed to testify in court. Being the fighter she was, Molly didn't let that stop her though. She used her fame to get featured in interviews, movies, and books to shed light on the true story. To this day, everyone remembers her as the unsinkable Molly Brown. She once said, Money can't make a man or woman. It isn't who you are, nor what you have, but what you are that counts. In a world where you can be anything, be kind.